I am really excited to be here. This has been an awesome day. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the thing is, you know, while I wish I had a crystal ball to look into the future and tell me what it's going to be like, I don't. But if today's talks are any indication, the future is definitely going to be an exciting one. Now, while we can't look into the future, one of the most important things that we can do is to seek out information. Because the risks for the future come from the unknown. In order to propose effective solutions, we have to make those unknowns known. Now, personally, I've always been fascinated with knowing. Now, I was that kid who just had to know everything, and I found it incredibly frustrating when there are things that I couldn't figure out. You know, growing up in the country, I was always taking things apart, sometimes putting them back together again, or just you know, wandering through the woods and the wider world with my dog. So as you might expect, I was naturally drawn to the sciences and engineering, and especially to space, where the unknowns are virtually unfathomable. Take Mars, for example. The biggest valley on Mars makes the Grand Canyon look like a ditch. It does. The biggest mountain makes Everest look like a molehill. And let's face it, you know, these things are really big, but they are nothing compared to what else is out there. Now, of course, I'm never going to be able to see how light enters a black hole uh, for lots of reasons. I'm never going to be able to see a star form. So if I couldn't be there, I wanted to create something that could and could know for me. And that's why I did my PhD and postdoc in intelligent robotics for space exploration. But when I graduated, I realized there is so much yet to discover about our planet here now. I've always known that my journey would be about discovering unknowns. More information leads to better solutions that will profoundly impact our world. Because there are clearly problems that can only be solved by knowing. The world's resources are continually being stretched. There is immense pressure placed on food, development, health and infrastructure by climate, increasing costs, and overpopulation. Take agriculture, for example. Even the most modest predictions have farmers needing to increase food production by a staggering 70 to 100 percent in the face of all these challenges to feed a population set to grow by nearly 2 billion people over the next 40 years. We must look at the world in a new way. The thing is, we have the ability to look at the world you know, in a way that would be science fiction even five years ago. Unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, or as the media likes to call them, drones. Now, I'm not talking about the toy helicopter that your neighbor's kid's been annoying you with. I'm talking about truly intelligent flying machines. Technology that lets us collect information in a different way than ever before. It's changing the way we know. It's changing what we know. Imagine a polluted dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico caused by industrial runoff from rivers and streams inland. This is a huge problem. Hundreds of square miles of toxic water where nothing can live. You need to find out where the stuff is coming from, which river, which stream, which ditch. The current state of the art of monitoring is two dudes in a boat with a Dixie cup collecting water samples to take back for analysis. As you can imagine, they're not covering the whole river, they're not out there every day, and they are certainly not collecting enough samples. Unmanned aircraft are ideally suited for this. They can cover that entire river, they can find the exact culvert where the pollution is coming from, and they can take samples right there. They can do this quickly, effectively and easily. And once you know what and where that problem is, you can stop the pollution at its source. You're converting what seemed like an insurmountable challenge into the equivalent of fixing a leaky pipe. That's the power of knowing the unknown. On March 22, 2014, a mudslide tore through the rural community of Oso, Washington 
destroying 30 homes and taking the lives of 43 residents. In a disaster situation like this, response teams need to move quickly. But the mudslide was still moving. There was a risk of further slides. And the material had dammed the river, flooding the valley, and turning parts of the site into quicksand. It wasn't safe for the teams to go in. To make matters worse, the weather was terrible. There were windows of good weather of maybe 30 minutes for helicopters and manned aircraft to fly in, survey the area, and to fly out. And that wasn't nearly enough. But the people on the ground needed that big picture view. They did, however, have a drone. We were able to be on site and ready to go, such that when the weather broke, we could get up, get the data, and get back down in plenty of time. We were able to turn that data around into complete 3D models of the site. These models are what the responders needed to know where it was safe to go and where they were needed the most. This information is what response teams need to react to future disasters and to save lives. Of course, we're here in Indiana, so let's talk about corn. <laughs> Imagine you're a farmer with 500 acres of mature corn. You're standing there with your insurance agent because a bad hailstorm went through the night before, and you're trying to figure out the appropriate claim check. Now, if you've ever been in mature corn, you know it's nearly impossible to walk through those eight foot tall stalks and to see anything. Once you're in, it's hard enough to figure out where you are, let alone try and assess some field level damage. Traditionally, farmers would negotiate with the insurers based on the severity of the storm, past experience, and what you can see from the bed of a pickup truck. Now, farmers can throw up a plane, have it intelligently survey the area and report back the exact amount of damage. Very quickly, an assessment can be made and a check can be issued, ensuring that the farmer has the resources to recoup their losses and allowing the agent to quickly go on and help other farmers who've been affected. The possibilities and applications for drone technology are unlimited. Unfortunately, not every application is a good one. There are a lot of people who will be trying to operate in ways that I personally think is irresponsible. The regulators are working very hard to determine what is safe. But we as a society need to determine and work just as hard as to what is appropriate. But it's imperative that in those discussions, we bear in mind what a huge and positive impact this technology can have. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the drone. It's about the information that the drone can provide. Information is the key, because that's what allows us to implement the truly transformative solutions. I can't tell you where the power of knowing the unknown is going to take us. I do know it'll change the way we use information. It will open up new possibilities for solving problems we don't even think can be solved. And it will change the way we live our lives. People talk about water being the new oil. Imagine if we could track receding glaciers and then provide clean drinking water for the millions of people who are going to need it. Imagine being able to track the effects of climate change, globally and regionally, giving agriculture the tools they need to adapt to a changing world and to feed more people. Measuring oil spills in square feet instead of square miles. The world has the resources to tackle the big problems. What we lack is the information to answer how. Now, of course, these applications, these examples only scratch the surface. The big stuff is still over the horizon. You know, monitoring a natural gas pipeline through the heart of the Amazon. Counting a population of tigers buried so deep in the jungle, it's nearly impossible to find them at all. Tracking diseases. Reacting to outbreaks quicker and limiting their scope. Saving lives. This is the exciting future of information gathering technology. 
Technology that allows us to know by having the right information at the right time. The right information at the right time. It'll open up exciting new possibilities for solving problems we don't even know exist yet. And the crazy thing is, the earth-shattering applications, the ones with the really, really big impact, haven't even been thought of yet. For us to truly take hold of the potential of this technology, everybody needs to be a visionary. Thank you. <laughs>